Hey, thanks for tuning in. It's Sunday, October 7th, and it's still 88 degrees here in Kentucky. It's been in the 90s all week. Just miserable conditions. Uh, really got the deer all messed up. Um, pretty much all of my cameras have gone dark. So I had a little surgical procedure done, nothing major beginning of the week. So I needed a couple days to recover anyway, but I have been itching to get back in a tree stand. So against doctor's orders, I made the mile hike trek on back here, sweating, it's completely soaked, but I got my phase system on, so it should be good there. Uh, but I just had to get in a tree. This is the only spot that I really feel confident in. I've got 13 trees down this fence row that are uh, freshly rubbed on. Well, that are rubbed on. I got three that are freshly that I can see that were just recently rubbed on. I got a scrape right up here, and a scrape 20 yards down this hill. So I know they're back here. They're just not showing up in daylight hours. So tonight I'm gonna do the intruder scenario because there's obviously a dominant buck that has make, made this area his area. So I'm gonna hit these racks and uh, do a little calling and see if I can't get his interest to see who in the heck is over here in his area. I believed if he, I believe if he's here, he's about 50, 60 yards over here on the other side of this hill bedded down. So I'm gonna try to get him to think somebody's in trying to take over his area so he'll get on his feet and come check it out. So I hope you uh, stay tuned and uh, enjoy tonight's hunt. Wish me luck. All right, so didn't have the luck last night that we uh, had anticipated. Uh, I, well, actually, we probably had exactly what we anticipated. I mean, hot weather, uh, crappy wind direction, uh, really nowhere to get down into right now. Um, so long story short, I had a coyote come in and it came in about 30 yards up the trail from where I came down. And of course, I used the Black Widow uh, Dominator deer lure on a drag and he hit that uh that that trail where i started dragging that and beeline to my to my stand but that's the hardest thing about self-filming i mean is trying to truly capture the entire hunting experience i mean when when things happen it's like man was it was it rolling you know or no i gotta turn the camera on i gotta get it turned i gotta zoom in so obviously i missed him and ended up fumbling around to try to get him on uh, on video and then try to grab my bow to take him out um, he spooked. I don't think he really knew who, what I was, but he took off down uh, to the right, down the hill, directly towards the bedding area to where I know those deer bed at. And uh, sure enough, about five minutes later, I heard uh, some huffing and puffing and they took off out of there. So about 15 minutes before legal was out, uh, I actually had several more deer come in. They came in about 20, 30 yards from that direction and, and crossed the fence. I heard one of them cough or sneeze, and that's kind of what got my attention. They were down there, uh, tree limbs and everything else. So I couldn't tell what they were, and there was obviously no camera light. So uh, long story short, I mean, hey, I was back in the stand, and it was fun. So uh, really, really anticipating this, this weather movement coming in, this cold front coming in uh, Thursday, tomorrow, and uh, it should really start picking things up because, hey, I mean, we're finally going to start feeling like fall instead of like summer. I mean, it's been in the 90s up until a week ago. Um, rain, nine, I mean, just 
crazy weather here in Kentucky. So really anticipating the, the, the cool weather. Uh, I know uh, our, our team members and pro staff are doing the same thing, uh, really ramping up to get some, some hunts in, some sits in for themselves. So it be, I'm really excited to start getting some of that footage out to everybody. And uh, so it's not just me all the time, not seeing uh, any deer here the past uh, two or three weeks. So uh, I hope everybody continues to join in. I know I keep alluding to a bunch of big deer. Uh, we've already passed up two 150 class and the 160 class deer this year uh, because we know that we have some really, really big bruisers on, on the two leases. So continue to uh, tune in with us. And as always, wake up and hunt.